Good morning and thank you for joining us. In today's lesson we'll be looking at simultaneous equations. So basically how we're going to identify simultaneous equations when they give you in case we get two equations given and they tell you to solve for two different variables. Okay. So let's say that in this example they said solve for x and y. And then they gave you two equations like this. x is equal to 3 and x plus y is equal to 4. So in this case now we need to follow the instruction of solving for x and y but we can see in one of our equations over here they've already given us what x is equal to. So we know that x is equal to 3. So when it comes into working out equations simultaneously we need to substitute in substitute one equation into the other. So let's say we call this equation number one, okay? So x is equal to three, we'll call that equation number one. So, and we have x plus y is equal to four as equation number two. So we have to now think about what we are trying to find, okay? So we've already found x because they gave it to us. So we have to think about what we need to find and that would be our y over here, right? So we're trying to find that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new equation, okay? With y as the subject of the equation, meaning that y will be before the equal sign and everything else will be on the other side. So if I'm going to make that equation, it's simply going to be y on this side is equal to 4. So obviously to get y by itself, I take x over. So we have 4 minus x, right? Because x became negative and went over. And we'll call this equation number 3. So, where do we go from there? We'll say, because we have x over here and we have a new equation here with y being the subject because that's what we're trying to find, we can say we're going to substitute. So, this is how we're going to say equation number 1 into equation number 3. So we're going to be substituting in this one into this one over here, okay? And we know our substitutions work, so how it's going to be written out now is y is equal to 4 minus, and so now you'll substitute in whatever equation 1 was, x was equal to 3, so this is x over here, right? So we'll replace that x with 3. So that's the substitution part of it, and the simultaneous part is where we are substituting one equation into the other, okay? So, we left with 4 minus 3, so y is equal to 1. Let's get a sec second example over here. So, they give us... 2x minus y is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 2. So once again, we can write out this as equation number 1 over here. We can say 2x minus y is equal to negative 3 and we'll say that is equation number 1. Then we'll say y minus y is equal to negative 2 is our equation number two. So now we're going to look at what was given to us, okay? So obviously at the start of this question, I would have said, again, solve for x and y. So what we're going to look at is what we are given, okay? So we already given that y is equal to negative two. So we know we have the answer for y, but we still need to solve for x, okay? So what we're going to do then is try and make x the subject of our equation, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so you can see we have a 2x over here. So we're going to say 2x is equal to negative 3. And then this y is going to go over, okay? So we can make the 
make it by, make x by itself so we have positive y we don't necessarily need to bring x down to 1x because all we need to do from here is really substitute in the y value okay so with doing that so we're going to say substitute equation number two into equation number three okay so we're substituting in this one into the one that we made here with having x as the subject of our equation okay so if we go ahead and do that we can have 2x is equal to negative 3 plus so when we substitute in what they told us y is equal to which is negative 2 so we know now that what's going to happen is we have 2x is equal to negative 3 minus 2 because that positive times the negative on the inside is going to give me a negative so we're going to have 2x is equal to minus 5 getting x by itself we're going to divide by 2 on both sides and so we're going to get x is equal to negative 2 comma 5 okay so just re-looking at the steps quickly we were given two equations we wrote out the one is equation one, the other one is equation two. We looked at what we had. So in this case, they gave us y. So therefore, with the other equation, we had to make x the subject of that equation, okay? But making it the subject, we would put it alone on itself before the equal to sign, okay? And everything else will go to the right-hand side. Once we've done that, we're going to substitute in the value that was given to us, which was equation number two, y is equal to negative two. We substitute that into the equation that we made which is always equation number three okay and then once we did that after substituting we just solve for the variable that we're trying to find which in this case was x look at example number three we get given in this case two x plus 1 is equal to x plus 6 and 4x plus 7 is equal to y plus x plus 4 okay so when we get bulk equations like this what I like to do is try and work them out first okay so what we're going to try and do is work both of these equations out to the simplest that we can get them okay so first thing we know is if we're looking at the first equation here we've got a times 2 into the first term and into the second term inside the bracket okay so once we've times out those brackets we're going to get 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 6 so going on further now we know that this x is going to have to come over right because we're going to have to try our best to solve for x because there aren't any other variables therefore we can solve for x right so we're going to bring x over to the left hand side and we're going to bring our numbers to the right hand side okay so there's going to be a trade-off happening between both sides of here remember when they go over the signs change both of these were positive so now they'll both be negative so we'll have 2x minus x is equal to 6 minus 2 so we get x is equal to 4 all right <clears throat> so straight away we can just say x is equal to 4 is going to be my equation number one so now we work out this side over here so once again we can see that in the first equation we already worked out x right so we know what x is equal to so what we need to do then is we know that we need to make y the subject of this equation at the end okay so if we're going to do that we get so let's bring the y over or we keep the y on this side actually so so we keep the y there so we're going to have 4x minus x plus 7 minus 4 is equal to y okay so we're keeping y to one side of the equation because we want it to be the subject right so what's going to happen now is we're going to get 4x minus x gives me 3x plus 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is going to give me 3. 
is equal to y. So therefore, this equation is going to be y is equal to 3x plus 3. Cool. So we'll call this one equation number 2. So as you can see, we already have an equation where we have what x is equal to and we have an equation where we've set up y as the subject of the equation. So we don't need to make another equation. So straight away we can just say substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2, okay? So the way we're going to do this now is we're going to say y is equal to 3. So now in the place of x, remember, we already worked out x, so we'll put that in. So that's a 4. And then we go plus 3. y is equal to 12 plus 3. y is equal to 15. Cool. So now moving on to our last example, it's going to be example number 4. So in this example, we get given 7x minus 2 is equal to 5x plus 4. Cool. And then it says, and 2x minus y is equal to 1. So we can see we have a bulk equation here on the left. So we're going to try and work it out. Okay. Remember, we're timesing into the first and second terms. We get 7x minus 14 is equal to. 5x plus 20. So we can see that we don't have any other variables, so we're going to be solving 4x. Once the 5x comes up, it becomes negative 5x, so we get 2x is equal to. So this 14 is going to go over, it becomes positive, so we have 34. So once we solve for x here, we're going to get x is equal to 17. So we can say x is equal to 17 is going to be my equation number 1. So we know we have x, so we need to find y. So we'll make y the subject of this equation. We can see that y is currently negative over here, so I'd rather take it over, okay? The other side, so we get 2x minus 1, we're usually bringing this one over. It becomes negative, is equal to y. So y is positive now. So therefore, we can just say y is equal to 2x minus 1. So we can say here, uh, y is equal to 2x minus 1 is going to be my equation number 2. So you can see we already have an equation that tells us what one of the variables are. And we've made the other variable the subject of another equation once again. So we can just say substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2. So once we've done that, we can move on with calculating. So we got y is equal to 2. Our value of x that we found was 17. And that's minus 1. So y is equal to 34 minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to 33. So as you can see, simultaneous equations aren't that hard. All we're doing is we're trying to find what variable is given to us. We're then we're going to make the other variable the subject of our next equation. Once we do that, we're going to substitute the variable given to us into the equation, right? And then we'll solve for the other variable. So that's the end of this recording. Thank you so much for joining us.